Okay, here's a simplified reduction of the chorus of Everlong by the Foo Fighters. Uh, the first phrase just is in triplets and it's just going up in the fourth, fifth, seventh, ninth, and tenth frets on the fifth string. Um, your right hand can either be alternating or going straight down. It's totally up to you. So, here it is. <laughs> So all in sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a little break right there in between. So what you can do once you get down to the nine and ten section of that, you can do nine, ten, nine, open, and that's your time to switch to the seventh fret. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. happening really quick you'll barely be able to notice that that open is in there but it's just a little bit of time to switch so here it is again in full speed now continuing this is the first and second endings if my memory is correct um, you just go back to seven rhythm there it could be a bunch of stuff you uh, what I usually do is just one two three four so just straight four beats and then you go back to the the build stuff is going to be a little bit more difficult to play because uh, each one of the chord changes is on the and of four. So when you start, it goes uh, nine, five, open, seven. So it's just those four chords in which you, what would be really nice if it was just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But it's not. So it's one, two, three, four, and Start on the ninth fret, just count out one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One more time. back into the second verse. Um, so at full speed, this is not every note that they're playing in the original version, but to get you started strumming, this is going to be the best way to go about it. So we got one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one. And that continues for two measures. Um, what you're seeing here, you see my hand kind of going around on one and, um, we've got one, two, three, Four and one and two. So I'm just missing, but my hands, just for consistency, my hand is always going one and two and three and four. But the notes that I'm not, you don't want to play, you're just not going to strum, you're just going to miss it. So one, two, three, four, and miss and miss. Well, not miss on that last one, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so here's the whole thing just to listen along. I'm going to play it slow and then at full speed. And that will be the end of this lesson. So it goes.
one last thing before I let you go. Um, when you're doing the nine, five, when you go to that open, you see that my left hand is just touching the bottom three strings because you want to be able to strum. You want to be able to strum all of those um, of the top, the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, but you still want to have a pretty powerful strum, so you don't have to worry about just doing like, you know, just these three strings. So you use your left hand just touching the bottom three strings so that when you strum, you've got six, five, four, three, two, and one, and they're just kind of, you know, clicking, you won't really hear it. Okay, so good luck.